Hello again guys, uh, Kelly here again uh, It's Saturday so I've cleaned my tanks, done my videos Got my big, uh, my last big cherry shrimp that lives in my uh, community tank It's a big one that one um, But yeah, I've had a bit of a clean out today Some muck on the, on the outside where I've, I've dropped some water But yeah, I've had a bit of a clean out on my tank A lot less algae and stuff in you know, on the glass. Well, I've, I've basically took all of these floating plants out and cleaned all the roots up because they all had ang algae all over them. Uh, still a little bit in the tank, but getting better. All my uh, white clouds. There seem to be a lot of fat females in there, very egg, egg ridden. <laughs> so there's been a lot of them. All the males have been flaring and everything, so I assume they're all breeding again. Big. Big fat uh, albino cories are a good size. Shit, there's, there's my fingers. They're a, they're a biggish fish. No, going the right way. There's another one, three of them. There's a couple of trilineators down there and sneaky on that. There. Uh, yeah, the yeah. Uh, I've, I've cleaned. I've clipped all them plants down there. That was growing up the side. Uh, so I'll see how they grow. They grow a bit big for this tank, even though it is a very tall one. I think what I'll do is if they don't grow good again, or if they grow a bit spindly again, I will replace them with what I've got in that corner. Because that's a nice looking plant and that does grow nice and thick and just high enough for the tank. It grows like exactly to the top. It's a wonderful size for this tank. 60 centimetres all day. So... Oh, there's a the shrimp just cleaning the algae off. Once I get a load of them in there, I'll uh, have a good time. And enjoying that, there's a little hole in that leaf. It's just been streaming bubbles. I'm going to try and uh, get you to look at. If you can see it in the back, there's my uh, JBL. Um, is it a typhoon or something like that? The uh, thing that gets carbon dioxide into your water. As you can see big but well, I hope you can see big bottles go big bubbles go in the bottom, start spinning. By the time they get to the top, they're a lot smaller. And I've just took my um, indicator out because I need to replace the fluid in it, so I'll be doing that in a minute. But yeah, you get little bubbles at the top and the big ones come in at the bottom as the uh Get, as the CO2 gets absorbed into the water. I don't know if I've got that very well placed. I feel like I should probably have it over this side. It's right near an intake. But it's also near the outflow of that, so oh, it's a mixed bag, we'll see. My plants seem to be growing well. So these are newbies growing leaves, flowers. There's more new leaves coming that's only been open a, a little while. So yeah, all in all, look at all them there, uh, a big load of that kit, there's a couple of uh, cheeky autos on the side, look how fat he is, I like fat gut on him, good, but yeah, so all my fish in here seem to be doing pretty well, just see if I can see my big bristle nose, yeah, on his rock, chases everyone away from around here, that's where, he, where I keep his cars, yeah, or his cucumber, another sinkless down there. But yeah, I've seen him chase them, them albino cories out of here. It's his place. His big fins. Right. I'm trying not to knock loads of stuff off my desk. But yeah, he's uh, he's growing on nice. A couple of uh, rows under there. But yeah, and uh, my rosy tetras are as normal. Uh, like you see, a bit of flashing and loads of male <laughs> Um, white clouds, I'm saying air a lot, I'm a bit bashed out. Um, <laughs> all flashing each other, so I think there's a lot of mating going on. That yellow one seems to be the king of the males. Oh, there's, a big, there's a big normal one. Oh no, he's getting chased by the yellow one. But yeah, normally it's the tetras all dicking about like that, but today, well this week, while I think that female's full of eggs, it's the white clouds what are getting Larry in the tank. <laughs> I'm just going to come around the other side. Oh, I'll be back. I'm push bike into work. 
for the first time in a couple of years. I've been doing 18 mile a day without any practice or hope, so I'm a bit I'm a bit sore. <laughs> Look at some autos from under me, which you swell about. Yeah. Anyway, I just want a quick look at that running. Let me see a bit better from up here. See how the bubbles are all leveled. So yeah, that's just running about. Every now and again, it, if it doesn't absorb enough, a, the bubble comes out the top. One just went then. Um, yeah, all in all, it's looking good, looking nice and clean still. A lot of action. It's all around there <laughs> because they're having a big go. So I'm going to give them some blood worm in a minute. I'll be happy. Thanks for watching. Any questions or anything, just give us a shout. Bye.